Yo, quick intro. So I entered the 2017 Flame Challenge issued by the Allen Alta Center for Communicating Science and they asked the question, what is energy? And the challenge was to describe what is energy as best as possible to a panel of 11 year old judges. <laughs> and let me tell you, boy, was it a challenge. But without further ado, here's the project that I submitted. I hope that you enjoy it. Not you, Pluto. Go back to sleep. Okay. Psst. Hey, Earth, are you awake? Yeah, I'm half awake, like always. Why? What's up? You know, I've been thinking lately. I'm here providing energy for you and the rest of the planets. But what exactly is energy? What's energy? Huh, I have no idea. Did you just ask, what is energy? Yeah, what is it? Oh boy, where do we begin? It's important to understand that no one really knows what energy is. We only know that energy is a part of everything in the universe because energy allows for change to happen. What? This is so confusing. Okay, okay, to be fair, this can be confusing, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. So pay very, very close attention to this because this is very important. When change is happening anywhere in the universe, something else has to change with it. And we've decided to call this event energy. Now, we know this event to be true because the conservation of energy law, which states energy cannot be created or destroyed, but only stored or transferred. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Energy is an event that transfers and stores energy. And that is what allows for change to happen anywhere in our universe. Yeah, now you're getting it, son. And just a side note, our entire universe means everything from the biggest thing that we know, our universe, and everything within it, all the way down to the smallest thing that we know, quartz. Any change in any of these objects is energy. That is incredible. So what am I transferring to my planets? Well, son, you're transferring thermal energy to your planets. And that thermal energy goes into organisms, objects, the weather, and just about everything, which is then transferred into other types of energy like chemical, electric, wind, electromagnetic, and many more. Ah, I see. So my thermal energy is the only thing providing energy for all of my planets. Wow, I'm way cooler than I thought. Actually, that is not quite true, son. Your thermal energy isn't the only energy being transferred. You see, energy can be classified as two types. There's kinetic energy, which is something that is changing, and there's potential energy, which is something that has the potential to change. And these two types of energies transfers back and forth from one another. Now, there are many different types of kinetic and potential energy, such as your gravity is gravitational potential energy, which is also being used to transfer energy. As your planets orbit around you, your gravitational potential energy pulls on them and helps them change. Wow, I am the greatest. If any of you guys want any energy, you have to go through me. <laughs> <laughs> well, son, I'm sorry to expand your surface again, but that is not actually true. Aww. Yes, even though you are a very important energy provider for your solar system, you aren't the only one. Oh, what? Well, who else is there? Is Pluto lying about being a star now? What? What did I do? <laughs> No, son. Leave Pluto alone and take a look at Earth's moon, for example. The gravitational potential energy of the moon tugs on Earth and makes the Earth transfer its rotational energy into heat energy and orbital speed for the moon. Not to mention, some of your planets have cores that are active in which they can transfer energy for themselves. Well, then that means that all my planets are cool with me. Except for the liar Pluto. I'm sorry! I thought I was a planet! Okay! Oh, you two. Behave like celestial bodies, will you? So, do you know what energy is now? Yes. Well, no. Um, kind of? Because like you said, no one really knows what energy is. But when change happens anywhere in the universe, we decided to call that event energy. And energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Well done, guys. Well done. 
Learning more about physics gives you the tools to learn more about the past of our universe and even predict the future. Many smart physicists have discovered a lot of equations for you if you want to learn more on how much energy is being transferred. But I'll leave it up to you new aspiring physicists to look into those equations. Keep on transferring energy. Okay, that's it. Project is over. Um, I, I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I want to give a thanks to the Allen Alter Center for Communicating Science because this was a incredible question that I didn't even know that it was really important for me to understand. And so with that, I unfortunately, you know, there's a five minute limit on this project, but there was a lot of information I wanted to include that that was actually really important to understanding energy that I wasn't able to. And so expect a full episode from me before the year runs out. I definitely need to do that because Energy is, is a part of everything that you interact with. Every single thing that you see, everything you touch, there's energy there. And, and to understand what energy is, or to do the best you can to understand what energy is, has helped me you know, in the last week of, of doing the research for this video, just look at things differently. So expect that project by the end of the year. Hope you guys are doing well, and thanks for watching, and peace out. <laughs>